days, or should I say afternoon? It is later in the day. We got a late start. Late start? <laughs> We're kind of lazy in the mornings, I guess. I'm working. Steve's working. But we finally got ready for the day, and we are heading to the store because it is birthday. We're in birthday mode. It's birthday planning, birthday shopping for, party stuff. Peyton's birthday is tomorrow, so we need to get a lot of things for her. Some presents. <laughs> Some presents. We don't really know what she wants. We ask her what she wants. <laughs> Our kids are simple. They actually don't require says, a lot. Toys. So we're going to go and see if we can find anything that she is going to want for her birthday. We're going to do a little party for her tomorrow just with our family. And then um, we're thinking on Friday we're going to do a joint birthday party with Taylor and Peyton because their birthdays are only five days apart from each other. So it's easier just to do one birthday party with both girls. So we're gonna do that again this year. And we have a pretty cool theme I think that we agreed on and we're gonna go get some stuff for that and just get prepared for birthdays. Happy birthday, Peyton. There are so many toys to choose from, but Peyton is seriously one of our hardest kids to shop for because she's just so easy going, but there's not like anything in particular that's standing out to us except we did find one thing just a little bit ago that right when we saw it we thought Peyton is gonna love this because she loves doing this we're not gonna tell you what it is you guys will have to wait for the actual birthday vlog to see the presents that we get her all right so I think we are done with Peyton's birthday shopping we got a lot of cool things I think she's gonna like it we found some things that are perfect for her we just didn't really know what we were looking for <laughs> but now that we were here we found things and then we came up with a pretty cool idea well kind of cool maybe for cool for us maybe not so cool maybe for Peyton cruel, maybe cruel might be the cruel right word cruel and cool um, we are going to pull a prank nothing like pranking <laughs> someone before their birthday yeah we're gonna pull a prank on Peyton today He's Peyton guess what what we got you some presents today. Because <laughs> it's your birthday tomorrow. And we put them in our room, so no peeking. Okay. Pinky promise. Pinky promise. You want to be surprised, right? Yep. Okay. All right, so today I'm really excited because we are having one of my most favorite meals ever. I love... Cornflake potatoes or funeral potatoes or however you want to call it. It is I love potatoes. Do you like them too? Potatoes um, with a bunch of yummy stuff. Sour cream, um, I... cheese, and cornflakes on top with some butter. And they are delicious. These are those. my favorite. Do you know what the favorite part of me is? Those and the... Ham. Ham. Peyton loves the ham. And we always eat ham with it and green beans. And I am because excited. Ham is delicious. But before we're going to eat, Peyton has something that she needs to do. She needs to make all of her class treats to pass out to her class members for her birthday. So we went and we got some candy. Do you want to take out the things and see? We have. Those are baggies to put the treats in. Oh, there's 1,000 here. There's a lot. You have a lot of kids in your class. We have these. Smarties. These. Bubble gum. Yep. And I figured we could use some of the dumb dumb suckers that we have in our house. So um, Peyton is going to be making treat bags for her class. Ready? Let's get started. Making some treat bags. With mommy! With Peyton! Parker has not changed out of her jammies yet. She's still in her pajamas today. Hey, show the, show the guys what you have in your hand. What's in your hand? What is that? Yeah. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Is that a crocodile? <laughs> Alright, so we are eating the delicious dinner. What do you guys think? 
about it. Who likes it? Who's unsure? She's unsure. I love it. Do you love it? Yeah, I love it. What's your favorite? <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> Peyton has not been eating her green beans. Daddy know. did not dish himself up any green beans. Steven, is he saving it for last because he likes them? I'd like the other stuff better, but I like them. And Jordan is still working on well, everything. Potatoes. Now it's time for mommy to eat. I'm excited. Yummy. All right, so I wanted to give a little bit of an update. Taylor is home. How are you liking your dinner? Good. Good. She loves this type of dinner just like I do, so I wasn't worried about her liking it. She just got back from soccer, from playing hard. But the crazy thing is, is that Parker has eaten so many green beans. How many green beans have you eaten? Five. Five. I would say five times ten. Good math. All right, so dinner has been cleaned up. The girls are taking a bath. Steven is at karate, and I am gonna go ahead and get the prank ready for Peyton. So we just finished bathing the girls and I was getting um, all set up for the prank on Peyton and it's right there. And I looked down and I noticed that Parker had gotten into some stamps and she stamped up her entire arm. Parker. Was that naughty? Why did you do that right after your bath? She walks up and shows it to me and goes, <laughs> She was so proud of herself. I got one arm cleaned up pretty good. At least it comes off okay, but you have it on your nose. Uh-huh. And on your cheek. Other one. Other cheek. <laughs> All right, so it is about time to go to bed and end our vlog, but we have a little surprise for Peyton. <gasps> birthday girl. It is not your birthday yet early birthday but we thought that maybe we would get you a something before your birthday it's a day early you birthday. don't want an early present do you <laughs> i mean it's only a day early I guess she does. <laughs> all right so is that okay if you open one present before your birthday okay open, open it, it. Open 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 what is it? Nothing. It's a box. All it is is boxes. Maybe it's because it's special. Maybe because it's tiny. <laughs>
What is it? Another bag. What? Did we prank you good? Did you think it was going to be a giant present? And did it turn out to be a tiny little present? Yeah. <laughs> but it's still awesome. <laughs> prank ya! Prank ya! I got pranked. And it wasn't by me this time. Look at the little tiny F present I got. Let's see what it's inside. All right, so we are going to read some letters. Remember, we got a lot of letters at the mailbox a while ago, and we have a lot to go through, so we're gonna read a few tonight. You guys ready? Yeah. Dear Shot of the Jaegers, I love you guys so much. Parker, you are so cute. Jordan, you are funny. Peyton, you are so nice. Taylor, my sister's name is Taylor. Steven, you are just like your dad. <laughs> Jamie, I am so happy because you sometimes make the videos. Steve, you are so nice to your family. From Lainey. Thank you, Lainey! Thank you, Lainey! Oh, this letter says, Shot of the Eggers family <laughs> from Savannah. It says, Hi, Shot of the Eggers family. You are the best. I am the one who always watches your shows. Parker, you are cute. Steven, you are good at karate. Taylor, you are nice. Jordan, I love your pranks. Peyton, you are funny. Thank you, Savannah. Hi, Shot of the Yeagers. You are my favoritest YouTubers. My name is Taylor, and also I do karate like Steven. Parker, you are adorable. Peyton, you are hilarious. Steven, you are a fan of Star Wars. Jordan, you are the best prankster. I hope that you guys could be my friend. I love you, Shot of the Yeagers. Of course you Thank you, friends. Taylor. Tell the people say I'm funny. So our next letter is from Anderson. It says, Dear Jaeger family, I might have already sent you guys a note, but I did not draw the five minutes at Freddy picture. My mom <laughs> pretended it, <laughs> my mom printed it out for Halloween, but I think Parker is still cute. Jordan is still cool, and still Steven, Taylor, and Peyton are so cool, but I think Utah is a cool place, and I'm growing to, and I am going to Alabama on April 3rd. And I heard your Uncle Derek is in Arizona. And Arizona is one of the hottest places in the Western United States, which is very true. I hope I get to see you guys from Anderson. P.S. I want you guys to do a challenge called when you guys got letters from people and guess who, where Ooh. they live. Thank you, Anderson. Thank, Thank you, Anderson. Our next letter is from Mariana. <laughs> It says, hi, my name is Mariana Summers, and I enjoy watching your vlogs. The first vlog I watched was Bad Baby Driving, Baby Kidnapped by Creepy Clown. This is one of my favorite vlogs. I also enjoy watching your family play sardines and make different types of stair slides. My two favorite stair slides are the Slime Slide and the Money Grab stair slide. I even watch the Bedtime Olympics. Your family is amazing. I can watch your vlogs all day if I could, but I have school. This is the first fan mail that I've sent you guys, and I'll send more letters. Tell your family that I said hello, and most importantly, stay amazing. Sincerely, your best fan, Mariana. And this next letter is from Amaria Summers. It says, my name is Amaria Summers. I'm eight and a half years old, and I love watching your vlogs. I subscribed to your channel when my sister told me about your family. You and your family are terrific vloggers. My favorite vlog is when your family did sardines at Walmart. I also like the Boss Baby Challenge with Parker. You have an awesome family. I also love your pranks as well. I probably watch your vlogs all day because I'm on spring break. I enjoy watching your vlogs way more than my sister does. And she absolutely loves your vlogs. In my opinion, you guys are some of the best vloggers. You and your family are amazing when it comes to vlogging. I, myself, and my sister are hum humongous fans of your family. Stay amazing. 
Thank you so much, Maria and Mariana. Wait, you and Jenna like to play Annie. Hi, Jesse Vlogs. Hi, baby time. Kira likes Cinderella and the Wizard of Oz. Emma likes the Phantom of the Opera. McKenna likes Wicked. Subscribe to our channel. Give us a big thumbs up. Comment below. And see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye.